Thailand is often thought of only in terms of its food, tropical climate, and vacationing, but there is a lot more to this Southeast Asian country than meets the eye. So get ready for the 10 things you didn't know about Thailand. Behind the smiles and sunshine offered to tourists, Thailand has been and continues to be a politically volatile country where things can change in a moment's notice. Since the introduction of Thailand's constitutional monarchy in 1932, the country's armed forces have been the most powerful force in Thai political life. Regular coup d'etats that replace elected governments have gained legitimacy as part of the political process. In fact, from the year 1912 to 2014, there have been no fewer than 21 coups involving the overthrow of a leader no longer deemed worthy. The country might have been subjected to even more if not for the fact that the military is ruled for extended periods. Thailand's propensity for coups stems largely from the fact that the military has always played a leading role in politics, and democracy has never really taken root. When such coups occur, they are often accompanied by claims that it is being done within Thai law and tradition. The military then claims the goal is to restore stability and not to take the country in a radically different direction. There are some distinct features of Thai military coups that contrast them with others that have taken place in the world in such areas as Africa or Latin America. They tend to be executed without heavy bloodshed, and the king historically has been a stabilizing force as the military takes over and the government shifts. This allows the country to more or less function despite such instability. As mentioned previously, the king has been a stabilizing force throughout all the political instability and coups that have checkered Thailand in the past century, and up until recently, the monarch Bumibol Aduyajej had reigned as the longest ruling king in the world, and one without whose support the various factions attempting to seize power in their coup d'etats would have likely failed. The death of Bumabol Aduyadej in October of 2016 was regarded as a national tragedy, and his passing was widely and deeply mourned even as his son Maha Vajiralongkorn took over to continue the dynasty. Because of the political fissures that constantly threaten the established order in Thailand, the king is more than just a monarch in the typical sense. He is a symbol of stability. For this reason, the Thai king is a truly beloved figure in the eyes of the Thai public, held in far greater esteem than any politician or military ruler. And it is perhaps for this reason that proper democracy, as it is known in the West, has never truly taken hold in Thailand and likely never will. Buddhism has had a long history in Thailand and remains important today. It is, by default, the de facto religion of the Thai monarchy, as well as the Thai people, specifically Theravada Buddhism, the oldest type of Buddhism in the world. And Buddhist traditions remain as important today in Thailand as they have for centuries in the past. So much so that Thailand is often referred to as the land of Buddhism, because all throughout the culture, from gesticulations to the day-to-day -day routines, Buddhism has left its mark. Buddhism is so revered in Thai culture that it is often considered a tradition for Thai men to become monks at one point in time in their lives, even if only for a short period of time. Temples are considered sacred ground, with it being a taboo in Thailand to commit unsavory acts on temple property. One point about Buddhism in Thailand that has been brought up is that Thailand has a two-tiered system of religious organization, with monks on top and lay people at the bottom. This, of course, is not something unique to Thailand, as Buddhist monastics are considered part of the revealed triple gem, the most respected aspect of Buddhism. Regardless, due to Thailand's strong Buddhist culture and reverence for Buddhism, this aspect is notably strong in Thailand, often leaving the common people with the feeling of being left out. Thai culture as a whole puts monks on a pedestal, almost like a noble class. Many Thais don't just highly respect monks, but are afraid to do anything malign to monks for the most part, in fear of karmic consequences. The lay life of Thai Buddhism focuses on living ethically in the worldly life. While it is okay to enjoy the conveniences and joys of the material world, one should live ethically and not cause suffering to others. Lay people should also still be mindful of the law of impertinence and that all things must come to an end. The key to true happiness comes from within, through personal practice, not through material enjoyment. More so than perhaps any other cultural or historical force, Buddhism is part of Thai society in the same way trees are part of a forest, completely inseparable. Like many languages in the region, the Thai language is a tonal language consisting of five tones in total defined by whether they are low, mid, high, rising, or falling. 
In addition, the Thai language is written in a unique and vastly complex script that is not truly an alphabet, but rather a system where each consonant can invoke an inherent vowel sound. Within this system, there are 44 consonant letters, 15 vowel symbols that can be combined into 28 different vowel forms, and four so-called diacritic markers indicating the tone of a word. Needless to say, if you are used to Western languages such as English, French, and German, learning Thai can be a considerable challenge. Thai food is generally well known in the West for its spicy and aromatic nature, making heavy use of chilies, curries, nuts, and often coconuts. But that only scratches the surface of Thai cuisine, because what you get in a Thai restaurant in the U.S. is not what you can get in Thailand. Entomophagy, or the eating of insects, is very common and an established food norm in Thailand. In the markets of Thai cities, you can find crickets, spiders, beetles, ant eggs, and much, much more. Insects are cheap to cultivate and produce, and pound for pound have more protein than either beef or chicken, and thus entomophagy remains a staple of Thai food culture and one which Westerners should consider adopting too. For generations, an elite Chinese minority has been in the upper echelons of Thai society. Originally imported by the Thai monarchy to deal with accounting jobs, the Chinese have been a lasting presence, and their descendants retain a strong Chinese identity while remaining the economically most prosperous group in Thailand, though at the same time being well assimilated in matters of culture and language. One of the great legacies of Buddhism is the new ubiquitous presence of temples in Thailand. There are thousands of them, but some of them rightly have the reputation of being more famous than others and more visited. Chief among these is the Temple of the Emerald Buddha in Bangkok, which is claimed to be almost 2,000 years old. The Phanom Brung Historical Park is a Khmer Temple complex that is located on an extinct volcano. Located in the Isan region of Thailand, it was constructed out of sandstone and laterite between the 10th and 13th centuries, and the Water Rune, or Temple of Don in Bangkok, is considered to be one of the most beautiful temples in all of Thailand. Thailand has a large range of animal wildlife, accounting for one-tenth of all animal species in the world, 285 mammal species, and a whopping 925 bird species call Thailand home. For the sake of comparison, the entirety of Europe only houses about 300 bird species. Some of the mammalian wildlife can be regarded as quite impressive, such as leopards and tigers, and the incredibly intelligent Asiatic elephant, like in many parts of the world. Thailand's rainforests and similar places are in great danger of being destroyed along with the animals that live within them. Interestingly enough, in contrast to all its surrounding neighbor countries, Thailand in all its history has never fallen under European colonial rule. It is the only country in Southeast Asia to have managed to avoid this. This was achieved by attempting to mimic the European model of doing things, at least ostensibly, which it is claimed spared them the mark of colonialism. Regardless, this can be readily regarded as a great accomplishment after the many complications that colonialism brought with it in other countries in Southeast Asia. Tourism accounted for 17.7% of GDP in Thailand in the year 2016, and it is a vital and essential industry in Thailand. The Thai are known for being warm and welcoming, and fortunately for them, this mentality helps make the country the incredibly popular tourist destination that it is today. On various occasions in the past two decades, Bangkok, the capital city, has been the most visited city in all of Asia, signaling its importance as a tourist destination and that, combined with wonderful wildlife, temples, and food, make Thailand a worthwhile place to visit for anyone with the time and inclination. For more top lists just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our other lists. And thanks for watching, and thanks for learning.